Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking Dungeon. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Me. She was asking about you. I know, I know, I saw her. She was there. You already see what she looks like. Bro, she was asking about you. And um, she said that she had seen you or us at Sounding Fury because um, one of her friends told her, like, like, there's a tall, nerdy guy that has no eyebrows. That's me? Yeah. And then, because she was so excited because... She oh, has no eyebrows. Oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, she's fucking, she's super cool. Yeah, she got knocked the fuck out. Amy? <laughs> she got, boss for you? Oh, yeah, she got knocked the fuck out. She, she wasn't moshing or anything. She was just on the side, and, like, some big dude fucked her shit up. Shout out Amy. Shout out Amy for real, dude. Hey, she's a champ, bro, for real. Did she get knocked out? She or got she... not KO. Like, like, she was seeing fucking stars. Oh. <laughs> like Tom and Jerry type. Yeah, she was out. Hey, she's a champ, though, for real, for real. Hey, shout out to the fucking no, no eyebrow game, you know what I'm saying? No eyebrow game, for real. That's some real pride right there. Hey, she's a fucking two-time fucking ACL, NCL champ, too, for sure. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's right. But she, she got the right surgery, though. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> so how? So overall, how was it, dude? It was so fun. It was so fun. Shout out Bayori, fucking amazing, dude. What did they play? It was so sick. So they played their, um, they played their two songs on the on the little demo, right? Mm -hmm. I listened to them at least like thirty times already. And it's fucking dope, huh? Yeah. Actually, let's see. They played those two in Sings and Arrows by the Warriors. Oh yeah. It was dope. Oh, that's right. I mean. I didn't know that. Sorry. No, but dude, you know what, man? I was really, uh, I was bummed out, bro. Why? I was so bummed out. Why? Because there was a, okay. Big ass truck was like in the prime time set list Spot. slot. Uh-huh. When's right? that? Like 5.30, I believe okay. it was. And when the show end? Like 11? Show ended at 10.30, uh, 11-ish, uh -huh. I believe. They were in the prime time slot of the day. And what happens? I saw scenes. What happened? The most technical difficulties ever. The most technical difficulties. It was ridiculous, dude. They did it on purpose. It's like, who knows what it was, but these, uh, this equipment did not want their set to happen. So the mics, the mics were the problem. Mm -hmm. And anytime Abel would start singing, cut out. They'd finish a song, and then they'd be back, right? They'd start a song again, out. Well, it's because I was back there, and I was fucking unplugging the chords and shit. It was ridiculous, so Every time bro. he grabbed the mic, I'd unplug it. And you, know, you know what, though? Despite all that, they still made the best of it, and it was still a great set. Yeah, because everyone knows their shit, though. And it was still a great fucking set. And their music's fucking dope. Yeah, hell yeah. There was a lot of people there. It seemed like strictly just for them. But that's, that's a big-ass truck effect. That's a big-ass truck effect. You that's think a right. lot of the crowd left after that? No, I don't think so. But I think a lot of them showed up for that. So they came late just for Big Ass Truck? I'm not saying they came late, but I think they bought the ticket for that. I need a Big Ass Truck hat. I need, I need the shirt. That's what I need. The Get Fuck shirt? Whichever one is the Gang Bang shirt. I need that shirt. Yeah. I need that shirt. I, uh, they posted a video on their story. And it was fucking 5'7 uh, on dress doing a shotgun in front of Gabe. I just put no one out in front of Gabe. <laughs> fucking dude, fucking guys, man. Oh, that was that, that was funny though. And Mosh for Youth, they they had their specially crafted beer for Mosh for Youth. From from who? Hamilton's? Oh, I don't know from who. It was just Mosh for Youth beer. It was Mosh for Youth beer, specifically made. So all that money they spent making that beer, they could have gone to children for a scholarship. Well, who knows? Maybe they. Uh, wow. The sales for that beer goes to the no, children no, too. No, no, I know, I know, totally. Gotta spend money to make money, brother. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Imagine all the money you spent putting that show on. Imagine how much money they spent on those free, uh, those free photos. The photo booth. The photo Did booth. Did you get any photos? I didn't get any photos. Why not? Are you with Rick or something? What? With Rick? Nobody? No, no. No one asked you to take a photo? No. 
Honest, I didn't even know they, they had a photo booth, to be honest. Oh. I just saw someone say they took a million mm. photos in the photo booth. I wasn't the most interested, really. Why? Because I wasn't there? I was just kind of like... Um, Look at that shit, dog. One scratch. I'm fucked. Was that the cat? The dog. The doggo. I wasn't even really in that back area at all. It was always like in the stage area for me. They've done it there quite a few times, the same spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Describe it to me. I've never even seen it. So it's literally... So it's a tattoo shop here. Mm -hmm. It's the back of the shop, right? And this whole area is the parking lot. And that's where it happens. So here's the bands, the stage, and the whole rest of the parking lot is the mosh area, the dancing. And how's the, how's the parking? Parking is all, it's on residential streets, so you gotta, it's free for all. You got there early, I'm sure. You know, I, yeah, I got there early, but um, I still had to park pretty decent ways away. But it was still within walking distance to um, go and grab some water within sets and stuff like that. It was all good, you know. Yeah, it's super chill, bro. It's they didn't bring, they didn't bring your water in or something? No, you weren't going to bring it in there. Fuck that. Nah, I didn't want, nah, I didn't want to bring my gallon in there all the time, you know? I mean, you already know I'm, already, I'm always strapped up with my Yeti. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're 64 ounces, actually. A 55th straight. Sure. I can't believe they know me as the the tall, nerdy guy with no eyebrows. No, that's just, uh, that's just Amy. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. No, you was Dilly. You're, you're Dill. Dilly. She called you Dilly, actually. What, is she my fucking aunt? She called you Dilly. She's my aunt? She could. She could totally. Uh, she giving vibes? She's, bro, she... She giving anti-bunny vibes? She giving, she giving anti-vibes. It, it's good and bad. It's a good and bad thing. Mostly bad. Just <laughs> mad mad anti-vibes. Super, super, super chill, though. She cool. She's cool. Um... I actually went to go see my aunt for the first time in like four months because she's been over in uh, in Austria and Germany and shit. Austria. Yeah. She oh, it was dope. She went on a sweet honeymoon with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, that'd be dope too. That would be dope too. But uh, no, nah, she just fucking her her son lives out there, so she just he he was going away on on vacation from there to South Africa, so she was like, okay. From Austria to South Africa. Yeah. Really. I guess he does it every year. To South Africa. Yeah. What's in South Africa? White people. <coughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know there's a it's it's like a lot of white people. That's all I know about South Africa. They got malaria out there too? Probably not. Probably not. It's it's like very well built out there in South Africa. You know? I don't know. I, I don't know. I just know they have like some fucking You know who the middleweight, middleweight champ is? M yeah, yeah. He's South African. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So they all look like him and sound like him. What kind of accent is that? Is it like Australian English? I think it's like a mixture of the both, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Very, Damn. very true. Some real colonizer shit. That's what Elon Musk is, too. South Africa? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Some real colonizer shit, huh? The, the biggest colonizer <laughs> shit, for real. <laughs> but, um, what'd you call it? They, uh... Yeah, it was, it was cool. She showed me some pictures. Uh, G-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. It means alley. Okay, I didn't know that. So she was showing me two street names. One was Hup Alley, and the other one was Bald Ass Alley. It was fucking hilarious. Hup Geese. Yeah, Geesey or Gaze. Geesey? Gaze. I don't know. Gaze? Yeah, so that was cool. But then Bald Ass Alley, that fucking had me dying. Bald Ass Alley. Yeah. <laughs> that literally what it's called. Bald Ass Alley, yeah. Bald Ass Geesey. Yeah, <laughs> she was fucking <laughs> hilarious. But, um... What's her cuisine like out there? Dude, I don't know what she... Dude... What's weird is, okay, I don't know, like, I guess it's, she's not a photographer. They, are they a crowd-eating country, too? What does that mean? They be eating crowds and shit, like fucking Probably. salchiches? Maybe. You know? I don't know. I didn't look. Like I should have asked her. Like Germania, you know what I'm saying? Germania loves her fucking salchiches. I got out of work real late on Friday. I had to go out there and get the baby. And uh, by the time I got there, she was like, honestly, like, I didn't feel like cooking, so I'm just going to go get dinner for myself. You guys can go. I was like, okay. And I left. So I didn't really talk much, but um, she was like a fuck ton of photos, you know, good for her. Yeah, yeah, totally. But she was sliding through all of them real fast, and it's just a bunch of pictures of strangers, their faces. But she's not like a photographer, so I thought it was a little weird. But I know, like, she'll go up, because my aunt's like super like open like that, she'll literally go up to any random person and be like, oh, you have nice style. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So I, like, she probably I, liked how they look. I can look. see it. Can I have a picture? That's some you know? serial killer vibes, though. <laughs> oh, my God. 
but you know at least she speaks the language and shit so yeah dude that's awesome it's easy for her so she was out there for months just by herself vibing that's that retired rich life for real she was retired already oh she been retired man what do you want to do when you retire Fucking it's a long ways off, away but jerk off a lot uh when I retire I don't know I just want to be happy that's it but what what brings you that relaxing I'm a professional relaxer. You're a professional relaxer? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm a professional, like, I don't want to go to work today. I want to just lay down on the couch all day. You're the ma- TV. master chiller. Master chiller. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. Yeah, so, like, I'm already, like, regretting going to work on Monday. But I know I don't work on Friday, so I'm chilling. I'm already regretting going to work on Monday. <laughs> hey, see, and that's really some looking into the future type shit right there. You're really planning ahead. Yeah. Like, like yesterday, went for, like, an extra long mega walk because I was trying to show uh, the baby this scary house I saw. To be fair, she doesn't know this, but I was high as fuck, dog. I was, like, super <laughs> faded, right? And it was, like, really dark outside. It wasn't scary. It was so scary. Cause this house, it's got, like... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, uh, it's got that fence with like the, the pikes, the pike poles. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Wooden? Uh, metal. Okay. All the way around and like overgrown bushes and shit like that. And the house looks old as fuck. And on the roof, it's like hanging off and shit. It's a real old fucking house. All the lights were off. Just one car in the driveway, but there's not a single light in there. And I just remember walking by and the house is so big and I was just so scared walking by it. So while we were walking yesterday, I was like, all right, I'm going to show you this scary house. I didn't realize how fucking far it was, you know what I mean? It was pretty far. So I had to carry it on my shoulders and shit, walking the dog, you know, it was, it was, a, it was a mission. It was a mission. But, uh, you know, I did that. Went to see Transformers 1. That shit was dope. You went to see? Yeah. Where did you go to see it? The movies. In the theater? Yeah, Transformers 1. Really? So did they release it again because it was like an anniversary or something? What do you mean? Transformers? No, no. Sorry, sorry. This is an animated Transformers movie, a new one. Oh, okay. And this is like the origins of Optimus Prime and shit. Gotcha. It was badass. Okay, It was okay. really badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super badass. And like uh, a lot of big names, Scarlett Johansson, Keegan Peel, Chris Hemsworth. Those were like the three main characters. It was mm-hmm. dope. Really, really dope. Sick, Hell yeah. dude. Okay. And uh, how's the animation? It was awesome. It okay. was all good. And then I was just going for, for, for the baby because I was like, ah, let's take her out to a movie. She'll like it just me and her she'll enjoy it and uh she liked it but i didn't realize how much i would be invested into it you know the origin story because mm-hmm. it's like oh who's this guy just some random fucking dude you know and then they figure out everything i'm not gonna spoil it, it just came out and then yeah then it, optimus prime but you're a lore guy though i know but i never thought about transformers like that you, you know, know what i'm saying? saying like i but i feel like with if there's really anything that you're just even slightly interested no. in uh, Even a little, right? I, I felt like I got enough out of it. You want to know why? Why? Because, of course, all these fucking Instagram reels come up. My Instagram reels are so broken. Fucking hate my life. But uh, it's uh, um, all the Transformers reels are coming up now. Oh. This Transformers takes place 30 billion years before... The first uh, movie that we saw, like when we were ten years old. So it was before the Allspark was even on Earth. Yeah, thirty billion years before that. Yeah. And the Allspark is actually called. Uh, <laughs> Earth wasn't even a thing. The Allspark. You know what that shit is? What is that? That's it's called the uh, something the leadership of the leadership, something of leadership. And only a true leader can even hold that thing, or else it just vanishes. So that motherfucker with Wiki. There was something about him, huh? Yeah. Probably had a big old mega dong. Dude, yeah. maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but, yeah, it was dope. So, I guess maybe I can look into it. I didn't even think about that. Shut the no, fuck up. No, but what I'm saying is... Yes, I know. If I like it, I, I, lower, it. I lower it out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think with, with anything, even if you're even the slightest, the slightest bit interested in it, finding out lore will just make you more interested in it. You, you want to know some, some lore? I went to have dinner with my uncle on Thursday. No. Thir- Wednesday. This is Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday. Wednesday. Went to have... One of those shut off? That, I, that I fancy ass spot. Yeah, that place was fucking noise, brother. But, um... Because I asked him. I said... Um, you guys should do some more Warhammer 40k stuff. And he was like... 
He's like, oh yeah, we did that stuff about 25 years ago. 25? Yeah, and he was like, he was like, yeah, about 20 years ago, um, after we started making some of their stuff, they invited me out to England, and I got to tour the whole facility. He's like, now that's a facility. That's wow, a facility. The Warhammer one? Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck. And he was like, yeah, that place was awesome. And he's like, yeah, but we kind of stopped. It didn't sell very well. And I was like, well, it's like the biggest game right now. I was like, maybe you guys should sell again. But then I looked, and then there's like actual Warhammer 40K figures on there, like four of them. I want them. Dude, it would it would sell like hotcakes. Right now, yeah. Yeah, it would sell like oh. hotcakes. But I mean, Actually, I, would, I was about to fucking say some fucking I would imagine, shit. I would imagine that their licensing and stuff like that is maybe expired at this point. So they'll oh, probably yeah. have to like revamp it and everything. It just else. looks, um, they're like figures like this tall. It's like a four of them, but they're like all fucking armored up, like real nice. It looks nice. I want it. That's bad. It's on pre order only. That's badass. I know. And I told my sister, I was like, yo, hook it up, dog. Hook it up, dog, for real, fool. Come for real. on. For real, dog. I'm trying to go out there again. To take a tour. I see. If he was saying that about their facility, compared right. to the facility that he knows, I wonder how much crazier it is. Well, dude, because like, they just had their 30th anniversary. So 30 years ago was what the 90s, 94. For Warhammer. No, for sideshow. Oh, gotcha. 94. Okay. 30 years ago. 30 yeah. years ago. Mm, yeah. Yeah, 94. Okay, so Warhammer's been around since the 70s, bro. Oh, so they already yeah. had fucking years on them. Yeah. Imagine it now. For real, dude. That's crazy. That's yeah, so he sick. He was asking me, oh, do you play, like, the fucking tabletop game and all this shit? He's very... I like how, like, even if he doesn't care about it, he asks me questions about it. You know? Like, hardcore. Even though he probably doesn't care about hardcore, he knows a little bit about it, so he yeah. asks me about it. Yeah, yeah, That's cool. That is cool. It's like he's, uh... Okay, but here's another thing. Here's another thing. What was that sound? That's what I'm talking about. I heard it again. That's why I thought the camera turned off. It's like... <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. That is episode 134. 133, bro. Are you sure? This is 133, bro. What about your thumb, dog? You fucking cutted that bitch. Oh, I cutted that bitch. I know. It's, oh, that's bad. It's been like this for like four days now. It looks like it's just a wart. Because it's, it's in an area where it's kind of hard to heal, you know what I mean? Because uh-huh. it's constant bending. I was just swinging my hammer at work, and then I just so happened to hit an edge of the framing. And so, yeah. It's, no gloves? No. I had gloves. I had gloves on. But no, dude. Well, like I was going to say, here's another thing. So, kind of <laughs> tabletop games, uh-huh. Dungeons and Dragons, Warhammer, fucking, um, oh, what's that other one? Um, there's another, Magic the Gathering, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another... Pipeline. Oh, to hard music. Point? Really? Yeah. Uh. What about Yu-Gi-Oh? Same thing. Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. But I feel like that's a little more. Um, those are a little less. Less of a deep dive. You get what I'm saying? Because with Dungeons and Dragons and like the Warhammer tabletop game, mm-hmm. I feel like you need to be a little more invested in that. Yeah, because that's. Uh, yeah. That's, you know. I've been reading comments about, like, the tabletop and shit. Or, like, not... It's kind of like Reddit, but, like, forums or some mm-hmm. shit. They're, like, really invested in that shit. And this guy was like, if anyone plays the tabletop games, like, what uh, what faction do you guys use? And, every, oh, dude, everyone had different factions. It was awesome. It was fucking sick. And then there was, like, even many factions of chapters. And it was awesome. It was like, yeah, this, uh, this, chap- this chapter I've been using, they only specify in water fighting. He's like, so I only fight people in water. You know, and it's fucking weird. Where I was going at with that was that um, how you had mentioned your uncle kind of like knowing a little bit about each of these things, right? Mm-hmm. Swiss Army knife. So he he's probably well not only that, but he's probably in a main pipeline of something. But he's also connected to these little branches, so the heavy music, the oh, tabletop yeah. games. Uh-huh. But I wonder what his main pipeline is. Re- re- half retirement <laughs> I don't know Half retirement <laughs> Yeah you're right I feel like he just Fucking been working So much you know Life experience Yeah Just getting to meet So many like people I wonder what it's like Meeting so many famous people Can't relate What it's like Meeting so many famous people Just like but, all the time People coming in Meeting him you know Yeah but I feel like It's I feel like it's different For, for you for example Because You get very Um Shocked. 
Yes. Like in awe. Starstruck. Like if I'm in Max Holloway, I'd be like, fuck. Fuck, knock me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do me like you did Justin Gaethje. <laughs> fuck. Um. <laughs> I hope he fucking beats the fuck out of this guy, which is pr- it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Hey, 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 not with that attitude, bro. Not with that attitude. I got I got a real bad feeling about this. I feel he, like... He's got coups to feed, bro. He needs the bonuses again. Didn't I, he get, like, two bonuses last... I think he did. He did. Right? Last but, fight? Two yeah. bonuses. But uh, this this guy he's fighting, his heart is fuck. Like, bad. So does Max. Well, you know, you know Max lost to Volk three times? And you'd be like that sometimes. Well, this guy beat Vulcan in the first round. Like, beat the fuck out of him. Knocked him out. Well, he's, uh, and he's, he's, I'm, I'm assuming he's slightly younger than him, too. Oh, way younger. It's not even close. Yeah, Max is doing it for the old dogs. Doing it for the big dogs. I hope Max just gets in there and does his boxing skills and just, if Max doesn't get knocked out, it's a good day. I hope it's a war. I hope it's a war. Because Max has never even been knocked down, except for that Justin Gagey fight. And even he thought it was a knockdown, they didn't count it. So technically That was a knockdown Technically he hasn't even been knocked down They count as a slip He slipped That was a knockdown So I, I Very You see how he fights that. bro He ain't he fighting like a bitch yeah, You know what yeah, I'm saying So for right. him For him not to get even knocked down once Yeah I hope I hope But he put on a He took some time off to move up to 155 So he put on actual weight Not like Oh I'm just gonna bulk before the fight He Took time off, put on some put on some weight like 165, 170, and then cut down to that. I wonder if he's still gonna have that speed. So now he looks great at 155. That's his spot now. But now he has he, after that weight, he's got to go back down to 145 for this fight. What pissed me off was um, Max has the bad motherfucker belt now, the baddest motherfucker belt. That so that guy's a champ of 145. Okay. He was taking pictures with the bad motherfucker belt. And then Max took a screenshot post on his story. He said, bought, not earned. Love that shit. Wait, so, he, I mean, he could touch that? That's not his. That's Max's, though. No, he he literally bought that just to post on Instagram. Like wow. some bitch ass shit. Yeah. Wow. And he did that shit before the Volk fight, too. Some phony shit. Yeah. We don't like phonies. We don't like phonies. We, don't, we hate phonies. So, um, but the thing is about this guy, he'd never move up to 155. He's too much of a bitch. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, put him against Islam, it's over. I mean, I think that's most people at that the way. Literally, but, yeah. like, put him up against Islam, it's over. I feel like if Islam had a good grapple match for somebody, it'd be fun. It would be fun to watch, yeah. totally. With somebody that's just at that same exact level, except for in a different um, medium of grappling. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Um... But, like, who can compete like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some Sambo Russian shit. You know, I saw I saw Islam. He was talking to Dan, Daniel Cormier. He was like, he was like, you give me your child. I take him to, to Dagestan. Three months, three months, no contact, nothing. <laughs> the best Sambo wrestler ever. Then he's like, well, are you fucking kidding me? Daniel Cormier is like, I need to talk, I need to talk to my, I need to talk to my kid. Yeah. And then, and then, um. So, <laughs> Islam Islam was like, one call a month. One call a month. <laughs> it's like, hey, fuck, so dude. <laughs> Islam is actually pretty funny. So, you know, oh, my God. What the fuck happened to Hezbollah? Speaking of Islam, I was just about to say he's kind of like Hezbollah. Hezbollah is probably taken out low-key, bro. It's deep state type shit. They took him out. <laughs> so, you know how Hezbollah is always fucking with people, like, throwing shit at them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Islam would do the same shit to his, his crew. And then somebody made, like, a compilation of all of them. It was so fucking funny. He's just fucking with them. And you see, the difference between those two, because they're both from generally the same area, right? And they're both kind of, like, autistic, you know? But they're both generally from they the same from area. The same okay, area. so the difference between those two is that <laughs> no one will do anything to Hasbula <laughs> because he's so fucking small, right? <laughs> yeah. And no one will do anything to Islam. Because he's so badass. Because he's so fucking dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? And that's oh, the by the way, Islam, Islam beats Khabib. He mops him. Really? Khabib striking his ass. Islam actually has clean striking. Not, it's not, like, very good, but it's clean. Islam's was, or not, um, Khabib's was, like, <clears throat> so he can whack, whack ass throws. See, why is that, though? He just never took the time to fucking properly I don't train think so. on the striking? I don't think so. But the Damn. thing was, it's like, Khabib was like the first one of that Dagestani shit, you yeah, know? Yeah. He, he, so he was like... He started the, the He waves. started the trend, yeah. 
But it, uh, Khabib did say he's like, Islam's gonna be the next champ, and he was. He was. What was I getting to with this? Daniel Cormier, mad respect for him. I saw like a video, and uh, his daughters died in an accident. I didn't know that. When was this? Years ago. When and, he was a fighter. Yeah. Okay. And he's like, yeah, that was. And I guess John Jones had said something about it. That's why he fucking hates him. Really? Yeah. Because he's like, I remember seeing that casket, how tiny it was. And he's like, and he just started crying right there in the interview. It was crazy. And for John Jones to say some shit like that, it's fucked up. That is fucked up. Because he don't care about family like that. Look how he treats his wife, you know what I'm saying? Damn right, that's true. Does he have any kids? I don't know, actually. Does he have any kids? I don't know. Pro- I mean, Probably not. For the best. For the best, Look yes. the other brothers. They're, they're also fucking famous and doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. That would suck, dude. A little tiny-ass casket. That would be terrible. That what would be terrible, but I was going to say, like, do you think, because obviously it's a sport of, it's it's a ruthless sport, right? Mm-hmm. It's an extreme sport, actually. And and when it comes to something as uh, extreme as that, where you're literally, like, trying to kill, damn near kill your opponent, mm-hmm. right? Um, is that really crossing the line? I think so. You think so? Yeah. But even when it's, like... You guys are ripping each other's heads off. And you think you think that's crossing the line? I mean... I understand, like... I think I think John Jones was doing it to get into his head, which clearly he did. And and personally, I would... If I was a professional fighter, I would never say something like that, right? Yeah, I think he was just trying to get the edge over him. Mm-hmm. Because um, there's, like, a like a hate of Daniel Cormier, I guess, because of his, like, his glazing. He has, like, his certain fighters that he just glazes, like, crazy. Right, right. People hate that. But I don't think people realize how fucking good he was. Yeah. You know, double champ, active double champ. Olympian as Olympian, well, right? Olympian, yep. You know, it's that, that's hard shit College to do. College champ. College, gold. I think he was gold medalist, no? Whatever the fuck he was. Olympian wrestler, you know. Great fighter, generational fighter. You don't see that anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, just a little respect. Just stop the glazing. That's it. But, I mean, well, what I'm trying to say is... Um, it's too far. N- uh, no, I'm trying to play the devil's advocate in this situation as far as saying that, like, well, what really is too far? If, if you're literally beating your opponent to a pulp, you think a couple words is too far? Okay, what if they're, like, weight cutting and you're, like, fucking with them while they're weight cutting shit? Like, what? What do you mean? Like, you're just, like, going to their place and, like... Because when you're weight cutting, it's like a lot of focus. You're not doing anything. You're just dying in there, you know? Mm-hmm. And you just start fucking banging on the door and shit. Ding dong, ditching. You're sending people over there to fuck with them. Okay. Put his out. Okay, dude. Well, think about this. Uh, you're a big fan of soccer, right? Uh-huh. And so I've literally seen videos where uh, teams from other countries, they'll go and play others or like rival teams, right? They'll play each other. And fans of the teams will literally be blowing air horns outside of the, oh, yeah. the team's hotels, right? Yeah, that shit's funny. And it's like... Obviously, it's not the team doing it, but still. That's some deep state shit. You never know. It could be. Hey, the rivalries run deep. They run deep. They run deep. Yes, exactly. But it's like, is some saying something like that crossing the line? I, if, I if think that's so. a rivalry as strong as that? I think so. I, I, I do. Talking about someone's dead daughter? I mean, it's fucked up, yes. I think, for but, me, it's crossing but the line. But I think, I think if... Uh, if Daniel Cormier was really uh, that upset about it... Should have beat his ass? Well, not only that, but um, he should have fucking pulled out some tricks of his own, you know? Oh, I don't know about all that. Yeah. I don't know about all that. Uh, John Jones is a literal trained assassin. <laughs> but, uh, you know, fucking throw some words out there of your own, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. It's too far, though. Clap back. And that and shit was Daniel funny. Daniel got the ass for it, too. That's a big boy. There was a... <laughs> he left the booth to go to the bathroom and come back with a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> came back with a fucking hot dog. Um, hey, those fucking stadium hot dogs are dank, though. You fuck some mustard? No. I just recently started fucking with relish. I used to be a just strictly ketchup mayo guy. See, mayo's that Hispanic shit, though. Did oh, you, did you know that? I did know that. I did know that. Fuck yeah. I've been eating mayo on my hot dogs since I was a fucking little one. 
So like when I when I found it out about that, there was like a little hot dog guy, you know, the little carts, and he was putting mayo on it, and I was like, the fuck, the fuck, because I'm not the biggest fan of mayo. The mixture of the mayo and the ketchup, Thousand Island baby. It's a fucking god tier. My mouth is watering right now. One of those hot dogs they always have bacon wrapped. Fuck, what's up? Cooked on the aluminum trays? Yes, baby. Give me those heavy metals <laughs> in my blood. Those are so bad for you. But give me those hot dogs are gas. Man, that's not, I can get like three of those right now. You know what? See, your mouth waters for that, bro. Okay, so you want to know what my, my mouth waters for? Can I guess? You, can, you know already, but... Pizza. No, actually. Wait, wait, I wait, guess wait. you don't know. Wait, wait, wait. I'm give, just... Wait, <laughs> just give me, give, give, me a, give me a region hint. No. And then I'd guess it right away. I'm not giving you a region, a hint. In and out. No. No. Del Taco. No. Remind me to talk about Del Taco after this. Continue. Okay, so I believe it was on Wednesday as well, right? This past week on Wednesday, um, I was doing absolutely nothing at work. My job was to literally be a safety watch. Make oh, sure yes, yes. make sure someone didn't fall off the ladder and off the balcony because they were attached to a harness. But my job was to just... Okay, so, watch. Hold on. So if their if, the, if their bitch has fell off the ladder, you gotta you, you gotta you gotta save their life. Yeah, we have a rope there available to toss down, so then that would to to get get them up. Yeah. So if they were gonna fall off the side of the building, you gotta you gotta save their life. Yeah. What if you fall off? Well, I have a harness too, but then at that point, who knows? Get somebody else. Question for you: Have you have you checked uh, your harness, the date on it? How long have you had that harness? Is that your harness or is that the company harness? No, that's a company harness. So have you checked the date on it? Those are only five years. Well, the har- the harness is cool. You mean the yo-yo, like the retractable? All of it. The harness, is all, all the harness, it, it's brand new. It's, it all looked good. But um, yeah, the retractable seemed fine and everything too. Those have an you know? expiration date on that shit. You should, walk, you, should, you should look at that. I'm sure they do. And you should tell the safety guy, be like, hey, instead of looking at these fucking crosses, go take a look at all these fucking harnesses. They're all 10 <laughs> years past too. I wasn't really counting on uh, falling off the building, so... It's all right. <laughs> but, I don't think I think anyone is when it happened. But uh, I wasn't doing anything, and so I had a lot of time to think. And what I was really thinking about was, man, I really wish I had something to snack on right now. Oh, yes. And uh, so during lunchtime, I go down across the street to the to the local CVS, and it's so convenient, by the way. There's a CVS right across the street from the job site, and I. Walk into the candy aisle, my mouth just starts fucking salivating like a dog. Like a horny fucking dog. Okay. So what'd you get? I'm bricked up. I'm fucking ready to get some Qu- candy. The question is, is like, when, when you crave candy like that, how much candy you get? Just one, just one bag, just a normal bag. Is that enough, though, for you? It's enough for that time. It, 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 it satisfies the craving. Okay. How fast are you eating it, though? I eat that bag from... Lunchtime, which is um, no, I'm sorry, not lunchtime. From 11 a.m. to probably had it till like two. That's pretty solid. You know, yeah, it was pretty solid. I had a couple pieces here and there, and then two two o'clock is when I was all tapped out. I was done with the bag. Um, and did you get some more after? I didn't have any left. Did you go get more after? No, no, no. I, I try and keep it keep it contained. I get. I feel a little guilty having that shit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I got the the Airheads. It's like a. How do I explain it? It's a rainbow outside with a sour. Yes. White center. Uh huh. So good. Oh my lord, my mouth is just fucking salivating thinking about it. I'm being serious. So like we were talking about food and shit, my mouth was watering, and you totally made it like the Sahara Desert. Yeah, see, about this shit. You're 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 a food guy. I fucking hate candy. But candy is not a food. Candy's candy. Candy is a snack. I fucking hate candy. And I'm a I'm a candy fiend. You're a food fiend, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> um Bro, candy can suck my whole ass fucking left nut. Yeah, see, I'll eat plenty of candy for the both of us. I will gladly um, bear that cross for you. What 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 about the candy does it for you? Dude, it's I'm a sour guy. If you got sour, you got gummy, you got me. Like uh like when I had warheads before, it make my eye twitch and shit. See, but I don't like hard candy. But you it, like sour. It's all right. 
It's a, I like sour. But the thing about Warheads is I've eaten so many in my life, right? The thing about my mouth is watering, actually, just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about Warheads is I'll pop a Warhead in, and as soon as that sour dissipates, I'm spitting that bitch out. I'm done. That's it? Yeah. I don't care about well, you the... you can't finish till the end? What, to the end of the candy? Yeah. I don't care about the candy. Once it's sweet, if it's a hard candy, it's whack, personally. I don't, I don't like that shit. So, I... Uh, See, maybe we should try to find like the best sour candy. Not that you've, something that you haven't tried yet. Airheads knows what they're doing, dude. They're they're above Sour Patch. Airheads knows what they're doing. Yeah, uh, Sour Patch sometimes is like there's a weird flavor sometimes where it's like it's not the texture is not right. Okay, but I don't think I don't think you're that credible. You know, but you know what I'm talking about though. Um, sometimes some of them are hard. Why are they hard? They're supposed to be chewy. No, they're not hard. I don't know what you're talking about. They're not about. soft. They're not soft. But I, I, you know what I'm talking about. I don't think. Yeah, I kind of do know what you're talking about. But they're not hard, but they're not as gummy as they're supposed to be. Yeah, and I'd rather them be gummy. But the thing is, I don't mind that. You know what I'm saying? Like, have you ever had? Um, sometimes I'll store a, a bag of candy in my lunchbox, and it'll be chilling on my ice pack. And then I'll get some harder pieces, colder pieces, and those are actually really fucking good. Throw some, no. sour, throw some Sour Patch Kids in the fridge for a little bit, or maybe even the freezer. Don't let them quite get frozen, but they're fucking good. Really? Yeah, they're good. You want to know what I want to try? They just dropped it. Sprite Zero Sugar Iced Tea. Sprite Zero Sugar Iced Tea. It looks gas. I need that in my life. You know which one I wish I they... I need that. You know which one I wish they had, um... Zero Sugar? Was a Sprite, which which when which one was it? That clear one that looks like Gatorade. It's like a Sprite Chill or something like that. I forget what it's called. But it was they were talking about it in the Discord that one time. Oh, the cherry lime. Is that what it was? Mm-hmm. It that was fucking phenomenal. And I wish they had that zero sugar. It was great. They have the Shirley Temple right now. Really. That sounds good. That sound good. I fucks with Shirley Temple. You know, what you know what's really been hitting, and it's I, I've been getting it from the same CVS across the job site, right? Dr Pepper Zero. Yeah, it's good. In the plastic bottle. It's that spicy. has been so fucking spicy. It's because Dr Pepper already is kind of spicy on its own, just the flavor factor. Okay, okay, and the carbonation. So the carbonation just fucking. Yeah, dude, that 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 spicy has been the spiciest I've had in a minute. And it's consistent, because I've had it probably like four out of the five days of the work week, and... It's been good. Bam, bam, bam. That shit, uh, back, 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 back to back to back to back. back it's been shots, fucking back spicy. Shots. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what it is, dude. Dr. Pepper's on... They're on top. Dr. Pepper's always been on top. Always been on top, yes. Slept on. Cactus Cooler Zero would fucking smack. I was never... Uh, I know, you're, you're a bitch, but... <laughs> Orange soda is kind of like, eh. Cactus Cooler is elite soda. It's all right. It's it's up there with Dr. Pepper for me. I know that's not just orange flavor, right? I think it's like, what is it, orange pineapple or something? Yeah. But uh, the color's orange, and... It's gas. That plays mind tricks on me. You know what I'm saying? Why? It, play, it Well, just, just... It plays mind tricks on me because the color orange, it's not typically my favorite flavor. I've been thinking about cutting out uh, dark soda. Really, why? Because I got like this Sprite Zero, right? And I was like, I think I like this enough to where I, I wouldn't crave a Coke Zero, and really? I have it. But what about the dark soda? Don't do you not want? I just heard it was bad, the coloring. Oh, the coloring? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, that's valid. I'm gonna tell you this though. I'd I'd love to try one of those Sprite Zeros. I I got one. They're not cold, but oh, had that uh. The Monster Mango Diet. Warm. The Miami Vice looking one? Yeah. 7 out of 10. Cold? Cold, I tell you. 9 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Fuck. <laughs> Mid. Cool looking can, though. Very cool. I'm going to rank my Monster flavors right now, okay? I'll just do the Zero Sugar, okay? The white one? No. Or the green top? All the diet ones. I'll do the diet ones, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, OG Zero Sugar, fire. That's the green top? Yeah. The mango one, fire. The blue one, just the blue top, 
Low carb. Low carb. Fire. Okay, you're not giving us ratings, bro. The, yeah, first, second, third. At the very top of my tier, okay, S tier, OG green diet or zero sugar, okay. Then it's the mango diet. Oh, okay, at two. gotcha, gotcha. At number three, it's the the low carb blue top, and I don't even think I can put the white one in there. I don't like the white one that much. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. I think that's it for the diet for me. Honestly, I think my favorite is the blue top, the low carb one. Yeah, that one's fucking phenomenal. Six grams of sugar instead of uh, eighty. Yeah, but still, I'd rather have zero, you know? Yeah, but the, the green top is fire. It, yeah, that's second. I Actually, what, I, what we need to do is we need to get the diet and the regular one and compare them side by side. That's no comparison. You think so? No comparison. That's, now, like, that's no, making my mouth water. That's no comparison, dude. <laughs> it's like you're getting, a, you're getting a Louis V bag off a of fucking... Timu. <laughs> Santee Street, you know, in L.A. <laughs> and you're getting it from the real store. It's, it's no comparison. Oh, fuck. See, a good monster makes my mouth water. That does make my mouth water, too. And, and considering that I haven't had one in three-plus weeks... It's a um, bug. That's fucking yummy. You should get one tomorrow morning. Nope. I'm holding out as long as I can. And honestly, I haven't, I haven't thought about it. And I can't even remember until now. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Huh? His eyes are watering. That's how much he's thinking about it. Crazy, right? So he doesn't know this, but in his sleep, since he's straight, it's now I go to his window and I just start fucking blowing fat dabs in his face through his window. And I blow a fan in it so he gets high. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. That that's fucked that's up. fucked up. <laughs> no, Del Taco. What, what are your thoughts about Del Taco? Del Taco's good. Okay. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me retract that statement. Del Taco's fire. Okay. So Jake sends me a photo, right? I was already asleep and I woke up to this. And I, I luckily had the sound on. It, there's a fucking line. This is like 11 o'clock at night. A fucking line at Del Taco. Like uh-huh. a big one. And he goes, Del Taco's not even that good. Get the fuck out of here. And I just text him, don't ever fucking say that again. Don't ever fucking say that again. You're not ordering right. It's what it is. Mid-ass opinion. So, remember I told you on Thursday, I was like, oh, I got rewards for Epic Burrito. I got one. And my, my normal order is the steak, extra chipotle sauce. Fire. Okay. I ordered it with chicken this time. Okay. I think the steak is what's making that burrito dry to Just, begin with. Yeah, the and steak And their is- chicken, it's the best thing on the menu already. Medium red chicken breast? <laughs> that like, shit will be juicy as fuck. Like, their, like their, their grilled chicken soft tacos, that's one of the best items on the menu. Yeah. Okay. I got that epic burrito, the Cali, the Cali bacon burrito with chicken. Oh my god! See, but like that was like fucking. Okay, and <coughs> from oh my, god. my perspective, I'm not typically a, a a chicken Mexican food type guy. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not getting. So chicken you're counting tacos. Del Taco as Mexican food, or are we calling this fast food? No, well, it's fast food, of course, but it's Mexican style. I'm not saying it's authentic. I'm not <coughs> saying it's real Mexican food. Okay. But clearly, they're aiming it at some type of. Mexican. Yeah. Right? Yes. Their Al Pastor was actually pretty good. So, um, and when I, when I eat tacos, when I eat burritos, tortas, whatever it may be, I'm not going for chicken as my option, personally. Yeah, you going for that. You like Pastor, though. I like the steak. I like the fucking Pastor. I like, well, street tacos, like lengua and all that shit. They don't got that Del Taco. Probably wouldn't even be all that good if they had that shit at the Del Taco. It'd probably be fucking disgusting. Yeah, well, let's be real. But, um, so that's why the, the chicken, it's not too appetizing to me. It doesn't, it never sounds appetizing to me. Just hear me out, hear me out. Okay, how about this? Next time we go, I'll get a chicken one and you get your steak and I'll let you try it. Valid. I'll, I'll get like two or three bites in there so you're in the middle of the burrito. Where it's all fucking juiced up. Yeah. Hulk, yeah, yeah that's totally I, valid. Dude, they hooked it up with the, I put extra chipotle sauce. They put extra chipotle sauce. That shit was dripping, huh? It was like, dude, I didn't even need hot sauce. And it was like dripping <laughs> out my hand and shit. It was, oh, co- oh dude, it was man. good. It was good. Yeah. That shit was good. That's making my mouth water right now thinking about it. Fucking food fiend. I'm going, I'm going to. I'm going to Chili's after this. Really? Yeah. I've been to Chili's in a minute. That's why I was asking if you wanted to go. You're more than welcome to come. I've been to Chili's in a minute. Their like, chips and salsa is great. So, people have been getting those uh, mozzarella sticks. I'm sure you've seen it. Those Gynam- Gynamagamasaurus ones? They're like this big. Oh, dude, I've been seeing... 
I've been seeing some fucking 12 foot, not 12 foot, I'm sorry. A Chili's? 12, I don't know about uh. Chili's specifically. <laughs> probably Subway, motherfuckers. 12 inch long <laughs> mozzarella sticks. <laughs> yeah. For real, dude. And I was like, I, that I need. That's good. Yeah. That's I, good. I, I, liked it. I liked the picture. I'll show you once we're done. Um, um, it's like fog, baby. Bro, the cheese pool these people be getting out of it looks gas. The what? The cheese pool. The cheese pools. So what they're doing is um, they have like their crispers, their chicken tenders, and they have all these sauces with it. Any sauce. People figure it out. You can ask them to drench the mozzarella sticks in the sauce. Give me that fucking marinara sauce, baby. I could... Well... Give me a cup of marinara. I'm fucking drinking that, bitch. I love it. So, like, they have the crispers, right? And then they have the drenched ones with the natural hot. That's all right. It's not not my favorite. Oh, the crispers. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And then they have the honey chipotle barbecue. Yes. That flavor is good. But now, the other crispers you can get are just plain, but they have dippings, dipping sauces. Ah, uh, yes, yes, People yes. People are getting those dipping sauces... With the mozzarella, with the with the marinara, or not the with mozzarella, the mozzarella sticks. sticks. Yeah, really. It looks gas. Yeah, I mean, marinara is so OG. I know. So what? What? The, oh, this one and was it's good. So good. You dude. would like this one, Buffalo Ranch mozzarella stick. Buffalo Ranch. I'd have to try it. Honestly, it doesn't really get my attention too much. Yeah, they're like they're like phone sized. I'd be down like, to try it though. They're like three quarters of my phone, uh -huh. and they're like that thick, mozzarella stick. Gas. I want a cup of marinara sauce. Ask him. I'll just scoop that shit into my mouth. Uh, we had we had Buca de Beco. That shit was gas. It was totally gas, huh? Um, I thought the rigatoni was kind of mid. I thought it it, it could have tasted better. Okay. We definitely need to try that spicy one. And 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 that clam linguine. Yeah. That too. I just hope it's not as salty. No, nah, no, nah, I bet you it won't be. Bet you it won't be. Bet you it won't be. That should be good. I'm not gonna get the chicken again. Just give me all the pasta. Fuck the chicken. For real, dude. Bro, yours but had fucking nut in it. Mine did it. That spicy one, that spicy rigatoni has chicken. No, but that's with noodles and shit. This was just a fucking piece of chicken. Yeah. Stuffed with cheese. They you, gave me that love sauce. Yeah, someone fucking nutted in his <laughs> and mine was dry as fuck. <laughs> they gave me the hot beef injection. Um, yeah. Del Taco, though. I think it's fucking good. Del Taco's amazing, dude. You, and, put, you put me on fat. And, like, I haven't been... A, put me on game, I've boy. I've been... In, like, I had went... Last time I went with you was that fucking weeks ago, and then I had it then, and it was pretty fucking good. And I want to try the burrito that you mentioned, where I, I eat those loaded fries that I get. Yes, Turn that into but a that's burrito. a chicken one. I want to try it too. Well, I could sub it for steak, can't I? You totally could. I'm sure they can. Come on. Yeah, it's it's called the queso loaded burrito. I was like, ooh, Jose would love that thing. Yeah, they could they could make anything in there, dude. Come on, like. It's because those fries you like how there's so much slop on it, huh? All that fucking cheese and shit. It's good. It's just good. I know, but I'm saying you like that. Now it's in the burrito. That's a beaner animal style. The <laughs> That's called bold. Okay, yeah. Have you got the double dell yet? Oh, uh, dude, I've had so many double dells in my lifetime, bro. Yes. You know who put me on? You know who put me on? Your brother? No, 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 no. Mo? Am I close? No, she who shall not be named. They put <laughs> me on... <laughs> <laughs> they put me on fat They put me on game And I'll give them respect for that shit You know Great burgers And they like two for ten Great fucking burgers It's oddly like Her, her mom loved them bitches They were great So like It's cause their fries are dank Yeah And it's like We have dank ass fries We need a dank ass burger Damn straight You know what I'm saying <laughs> Yeah It's oddly good You wouldn't expect it No way dude You wouldn't expect it No way You know what else is good That I wanna try <laughs> I don't know if it's good they got ghost pepper now at Carl's Jr. So they got a new spicy burger. Carl's Jr. is always doing something like that. And they, and they, but they, they have the Western bacon spices now. You remember you told me? You remember you told me? Okay. You said that there was a study done and whenever a, whenever a restaurant has always new promotions on their windows and shit, pretty soon to be going out of business. Carl's Jr. has been going out of business no, for I'm fucking about, years. I'm talking about a restaurant. That's a fast food. Fast yeah. food always got it. But I'm talking about like, we're going to bleep this out so I don't fucking shut them out like that. Yeah, I, I know, I know. They never had that shit until like this year. But um, Carl's Jr. is always coming out with something new. Always. Yeah, they're they're renovating. Is that what that is? Innovating. Innovating. But it's like that's that Diablo burger, that's good. That's a good burger. 
It's a good burger to me. What, that Diablo burger was the one that we tried? Yeah, that has the jalapeno poppers and the, the, the sauce that with the was, jalapenos. That one was good. That one was good. I like it. now they have a ghost pepper one. I want to try that. I see, that bitch will be a little too hot, dude. Fuck but that. But they have the Diablo one as a Western bacon cheeseburger, spicy, with spicy barbecue sauce and jalapeno poppers on top. Ooh, that would be good. I just, like, miss the days where it was, like, two for five, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the good old fucking days, you know? I, uh, I started doing crockpot meals. While you're... Brother, you turn that shit on low, you go to work, you come back, it's ready. You don't gotta touch it. My sister makes a pasta out of, um... You can cook anything in there. My sister makes a crockpot pasta, right? Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh. And it's Parmesan garlic buffalo wild wings sauce pasta with shredded chicken. Is it gas? So fucking gas. So you just she gets a bottle from the store, right? Just dumps it in, and just says, "See you later." Okay, okay. Well, that recipe is not hers. It was found on TikTok, but it's fucking good. It's fucking good. Everything's found on TikTok now. Ain't it's, no one writing the recipe so now. It's so fucking good. Like Shannon Sharp said, "We're losing recipes. We're losing them." See, we might be losing them on cookbooks, right? Nah, dumb. But he's, he's talking about that home cooking. They're going, he's talking about like what your mom make. That's just that's just gone forever. But what I'm saying is. We're losing them in physical cookbooks. Yeah. They're just being transferred on the, into the cloud. Yeah, that's true. Right? They're just being put on TikTok. They're just being put on YouTube. All I these do other get my places. recipes on, on TikTok. See what I'm saying? And they're all fire, right? And I, and I don't follow it 100%. I change it up because someone's like, come on, dog, you can do more than that. I bet you there's some Hispanic-ass moms out there that she got a TikTok. She has like 10 followers or some shit. She's putting up her recetas up there. Did I tell you that I made What's fucking uh, albondigas? No, you didn't actually. Brother, albondigas, I. I just want to. I just want to see if I actually got this recipe from a Mexican lady at work. Not the biggest fan, so. Because this Mexican lady at work, she was like, "Oh, um, I made you some albondigas because she's like super nice to me. I just, I just want your. I want, I want you to know if it, if, if it looks good or not. It's it, gas. It. You know, this looks like the one my mom makes. Yeah, looks good. I followed it, everything she fucking said, and then I asked her, oh, what about the seasoning? She goes, oh, poquito sal. Fuck that. Yeah, those are some fat-ass carrot slices, I will tell you that. Oh, yeah, they were fat <laughs> as fuck. They were fat as fuck. I like it like but that, I'm though. Not a, I'm not a hot broth kind of guy. I just, the only hot brothy stuff that I like to eat what? is noodles. You get what I'm saying? Noodles and, like, um, pozole. That's really it. I don't like fideo. I don't like... What's that? Fidel's like those fucking... Oh, the green packs. Fidel's like the little like alphabet letters. Yes, I love shells. those ones. Those are fire. So, like, they're good, but, like, I'll have some, like, every three years or so. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> like, But as far as, like, hot broth foods... <clears throat> so, like, if I took you to Hot Pot, you wouldn't like it? To where? Hot Pot. What the fuck is that? I've only had it once with my girl. Cause I've been asking her to take me, and we went like last year. Hot pot. It's, it's like Korean barbecue, but with soup. It has noodles. No. So what they do is you pick two broths, and the pan is split in the middle, and the company or whatever they'll put the two broths on each side, and you get real thin sliced meat, anything you want. Then they have all all types of meat like Korean barbecue, and you cook it in there and you just eat it. Out of the broth, it's gas. Yeah, and you can put uh, whatever you want. So you have a bowl, you get rice, you get noodles, all this shit. It's fucking gas. I mean, I would be more than happy to try it, right? But as far as like being a big fan of you know brothy foods, it's gonna be noodles, uh-huh. pozole, and that's really about it. That's valid though, because that's like what else is in broth? Albondigas, um, yeah, fidel. You know? Okay. Okay. Valid. Very valid. Right? You're not like a soupy guy. No. But this is like, you could, this is noodle broth. So what you do is you get a bowl, you put a bunch of meat in there and you just kind of scoop it out and then that's it. Yeah, but I, I like, I like the texture that the noodles brings into my life. You like udon noodles? I don't know what that is. Those are like the thick, the thick ones, like that thick Japanese style. They're kind of chewy when you bite them. I'd have to, I'd have to have them in front of me to know. Yeah, those are gas. Ramen's good. That shit's good. That shit's but good. That's like I associate that with noodles. That's yeah, but that's noodles. That, that's good though. You know, it's, you're very specific about it. About your broth. 
Like, I don't want... I'm just fucking fat, dog. I just eat it, you know what I'm saying? Or, like, even meat, right? Because typically with pozole, you'll have some meat in there. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. I don't like having meat in there. What? I just want the, the hominy. I just want the hominy. Give me some fucking cabbage, some lemon. You some just like the texture. Of the hominy? Yeah. I mean, I have some... Maybe a little bit of chicken. But very little. I'm not really trying to have... I don't like the meat broth combo. Hey, did, have you gotten that bone yet that I told you to get? The, the fucking the bone marrow? No, no, no. No. You gotta steal it from your dad no. before he gets there. Never tried it. I think I, I think, I'm pretty sure my mom's a big fan. She's a big fan of all that shit. Like the nerve, the fucking gristle parts and all that. You like know? the tendon? Yeah. You ever had beef tendon? Never. Fire. They put that in Asian food. Really? It's gas. So like... Tell them not to cook it and just put that in your ACL. Man, they don't be letting nothing go to waste, huh? Asians? That's good, though. God, no. That's they good, don't. Though. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's called a beef tendon soup. It was spicy as fuck. Spicy as fuck. And there's a big chunk of beef. He said, put that in my ACL. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> it was fucking, like, that big, you know, of, of beef and, like, that thick, too. So it's, like, that long, that thick. And then in there's, like, this tubular kind of clear looking thing and it's like what's that like, oh that's the beef tendon oh daddy gas it's so soft it just melts in your mouth speaking of tendons after yesterday my knees were cooked a lot of moshing mm, yeah I guess you could say so my knees were cooked I felt like an old fucking man dude that's the oldest I've ever felt in my life really at 24 years young that's the oldest I have ever felt in my life I shouldn't be feeling this way. Honestly, I thought you just slept in. I was like, oh, this motherfucker's sleep. I shouldn't be feeling this way. You feel sore right now? Oh, yeah. So sore, bro. All over my body. <laughs> so sore. And and not only that, dude. Oh, my God. So where, where was it? I forgot where I was scrolling through. It was one of my doom scrolling sessions. Yeah. It made me feel even older. Um, so when do you think... When do you think you'll get to a point in your life where you're like, what are these kids talking about? I, I, I'd be doing that sometimes. You are you think you're there? Yeah. Like 100%? Not 100%, but there's like... <gasps> what, what's a, what percentage are you at right now? Maybe like 50. <gasps> 50%, okay. I think I'm about like an 80. Because, bro, when I look at these kids on, on Instagram and shit now, it's like, I was never like that as a kid. You guys are fucking retarded. Yeah, but then again, they're on their phones like 90% of the day, their day, you know? Probably. But um, I was scrolling, looking at some comments or whatever, and then I saw this one comment. It said, uh, it said something, something, this guy's a fucking total gooner, right? I was like, what's a gooner? Uh-huh. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? It sounds kind of cool. Okay. I did the same thing, but with hoser. If someone said hoser, I found out what that meant. That's a Canadian thing. Yeah, I found That's out. That's a Canadian thing. Okay, continue. Shout out Robert Shabosky. Um, but I was like, what the fuck's a gooner? And I have Urban Dictionary installed on my phone. Just for that. Just for that. Uh-huh. And I was like, dude, I feel so fucking old doing this shit. <laughs> I got to go to Urban so Dictionary. It. It's pretty much a dude that likes to beat his dick vigorously. No, that's you. Or no, that or that's like addicted. Oh, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> and there's there those multiple definitions. The more you scroll down, the more definitions you'll find. You know, but that was the first one I saw. Uh-huh. And uh, uh, and after reading that, I was just like, dude. I'm so not- what was the context of the video that you saw? I forget really, but I just really remember Gooner, right? And after reading that definition, I was like, dude, I'm not that old. Like I'm already I'm already there. Like. What are these kids talking about? It's because these kids are, like, <laughs> inventing shit. They're different. They're built different. I think we're fucked as a generation, huh? We are? Yeah. Or the generation next to, or after us? After us. Okay. They're pretty fucked. So, like... I feel like they're pretty fucking retarded. What, which age group are you talking about here? I'm talking about, like, the 15-year-old, 16s, you know, right now. See, and all these kids in school, they gotta lock up their phones now. Do they? Yeah. It's have, getting that bad. Have huh? you seen that? So uh-huh. they give them these little pouches. Yeah, I have seen that. And then they lock... I think you even told me about it. And they start handing them out after school. It's bad. They, no, they start hand... No, they, they, they hand them out in the beginning of school. And I think you got to... You lock your phone. It's like one of those security things when you buy something at the store. Yeah. You got to like glide it over the sensor and it releases your phone at the end of the day or some shit. 
You know, it's intense. It's bad. Yeah, it's bad. We were never that bad. I've been playing Clash of Clans and shit in the back, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But... But I think... I don't even it's think... It's because they're doing the AI cheating shit now, I bet. Hey, what's uh, 3 times 12? You know there's people out there that can't do 3 times 12 without a calculator? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's bad. I bet you everyone's doing what you're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All our listeners are like, what the fuck is 3 times 12? <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time I did that? <laughs> um, yeah, but it, it, it's bad where they can't even do math and shit without their phone. You know? But, I mean, the school system has had to step up since fucking forever. You know, you know everything has progressed except for the school system. Facts. Factual. So They I mean, failed us. Okay, technology has progressed to where we haven't had to do anything ourselves, right? Because we have everything in the palm of our hand. But why hasn't, why hasn't school? Why, why haven't they found a better method? To teach these kids. I feel like uh, like the Elon Musk school, where he actually teaches them real life shit, that's needed. You know why it is, though? Why? You know why They're it is? They're trying to hold us fucking down in these factories and shit. Because, because school is not meant to teach and to elevate. School is meant to train. Yeah. That's what the fuck it's meant for. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So it's like... Of course they're not going to switch it up if, if, if they're sucks. getting exactly what they need out of us. You know what I mean? The system's always held us down. Bitch-ass school districts. It's Every single that. one of them. Every that. single the one of system. them. The system. The system. The government. All, all of them. But then also these fucking school districts because they're... they're, they're it's a pyramid scheme. Right? <laughs> it's a pyramid scheme. The system is at the very top and obviously they delegate their power little by little to who they choose to. Yeah. And eventually, these districts are in a place in that pyramid. They get that power delegated to them, and then they fucking train their little minions the way they want. And they're like, fuck Michelle Obama for real, dog. I, when I was going into high school, I Take, was hearing I was hearing the, the ledge, oh, they got hot Cheetos in the fucking... In the chip machine. They got some dank ass ice cream machines. Where the fuck these ice cream machines at? Where the fuck is that, Michelle? There's still fucking fat kids out here. I saw them during orientation. I saw ice cream machines during orientation. They had Arizona's in the fucking vending machine, bitch. But then I had bitch. them during or I saw them during orientation. First day of school, gone. Gone. It's like our year, freshman year, you were fucked. Yeah. Gone. Where the fuck was that? You want some real Scare me. Sometimes he like we're having a conversation, he'll tend to look off and it scares me. Anyways, yeah, like, now they, they sold Arrowhead water. Stop, dog. Oh. <laughs> okay, you scare me. Yeah, they sell Arrowhead water. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, I don't, I don't see... A, That's what I they sold. I don't see a single problem with that. It tastes like doo-doo once it gets warm. I, I, I like water. I just, I just like to be hydrated. Just I just like water. That's what I was going to tell you. So I've been on my water shit, right? So all day at work, and then Saturday comes, and I didn't drink that much water. Brother... You seen my lips today. It was the Sahara Desert. Today? Oh, dude, they were so bad. I had to go to the car to get chapstick when I woke up from my nap. Oh, dude, I was like, oh. Couldn't you open my mouth all the way? That's my eyes when I sleep with my contacts in. You're terrible. She wanted to come in. She wanted to. Well, where we at? I don't know. Oh, I see a one on there already. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know where we were at. But no, she wanted to come in with us and sit over there and watch us. Really? I told her no. We've never had a little bystander. We almost did at one point. Oh, <laughs> thank the Lord for that. But yeah, anyways, guys, 133, love y'all, eat my ass.